Okay, so on today's call, what we're going to do is we're going to set up our Facebook business manager. And I truly believe this is where all the magic happens. And this is where everyone drops the ball. Everyone misses this part. Um, there's really three different places you can run a Facebook ad. And, and most people run it through their personal account. They'll just simply boost a post or they'll run it through their personal name. You can set up a, an ad just through your personal personal name. And mm -hmm. I would say 90 plus percent of people run it through their personal name. Um, that's that's one way people do it. The second way people do it is they do it through the ads manager, which the ads manager is where I'm going to take you. And that's what we're going to set up. But okay. the ads manager is not is not the business manager. The ads manager doesn't give you access to the pixel. It doesn't give you access or the ability to create custom audiences. So there's a lot of settings that are missing from the ads manager. So some people, option number two, some people will just run it through the ads manager and they're just burning money when they do it that way because they're not creating custom audiences. They're not collecting any of the data, any of the engagement from their ads. That's through the ads manager. So you don't want to do it that way. That's the second way people do it. And then the third way you do it, and that's the real way you want to do it. And that's what we're going to do today. We're going to set up the third way, which is the business manager. We're going to set up the business manager. The business manager gives you access to all the settings, which are just really a few. It's it's the pixel. It's the custom audiences. It's the custom conversion. Um, it's being able to integrate your domain. So now you have to you have to integrate your domain um, with Facebook. That's all done through the business manager. So that's what we're going to set up. So go ahead and click on that one, ads manager. And then what I also want you to do is... I'm going to have you set up just like you have all your bookmark and you could probably put it, maybe put it, we're, we're going to create a folder and we're going to, we're going to create a bookmark folder and maybe put it in the swift water painting folder. Cause you have a swift water painting up there, um, folder up there. So we'll yeah. create a new folder. Yeah. Go ahead and click on it. We're going to put a new folder in there. So maybe right click, right click and see if you can just add folder. Can we add folder? Yeah. Add folder. Perfect. So at the bottom, add folder. So just go down a little lower. Yeah, add folder. So this one is going to be is going to be Facebook Facebook Business Manager or FB Business Manager. You can you can do that FB Business Manager and yeah maybe put it in the in the Swift Water Painting folder. Perfect, safe. Okay, awesome. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna um we're gonna there's there's gonna be seven bookmarks and these right here again I'm gonna really make it simple and and try my best to make it simple, but but at the end of the day there's only seven buttons seven things you'll ever click on when it comes to running Facebook ads and Instagram ads. There's only seven. So back here, there's all kinds of stuff going on in the Facebook business manager, ads manager back here, and it can be kind of overwhelming. But again, at the end of the day, there's only seven that you'll ever need. And that's what we're going to bookmark. We're going to bookmark the seven. Okay. So, so now we're going to, we're going to click on the three lines to the left and let's go to business settings. So three lines on the top left, actually the very, very to the left, and go to business settings. Okay. Perfect. And let's see which um, accounts she has. Yeah. See, so she has she has a few. Yes, yeah, she has two of them. Okay. Perfect. So she has the Kimberlyn collars, and then she has the the Rachel one to the right. So you can use either one. Um, we're going to we're going to yeah maybe maybe use maybe use that one because there's zero ad accounts. Yeah, that's fine. Use use that one. Um, and we're gonna rename it as well. The Rachel Boyer she put that probably just for the hell of it. We're going to rename it to, we'll name, name it to Swift Water Painting. Okay, okay, perfect. So this is where it starts. So now, now you see there in the top left, the purple um, T. Yeah, click on that. So there you'll see the other accounts. You'll see the Kimberlyn one, and then you'll see the bottom one. So as I was trying to mention earlier, the three ways people run an ad. Number one, they'll try to boost a post. Never boost a post. Number okay. two, they'll try to run it through their ads manager. Their ads manager is the bottom account, <clears throat> right? So it's it's the bottom one, your account, the bottom one, Rachel. That's that's the ads manager. So we don't ever want to run ads out of there anymore, okay? Uh -huh. So now the third option, again, is the business account, is the business manager. We're going to be running everything out of the business account, out of the business manager, which are these two, these top two. So she has two of them, which is a good thing. She has two of them. And so we'll just simply create... Everything we're going to do here for for Swiftwater, we'll just create it out of that out of that one, the Rachel Boyer. But we're mm -hmm. going to rename the Rachel Boyer here in a second. So click away from there. Click away from there. So now what we want to do is we want to click check on pages and make sure that the pages, or the or the page is connected. Yeah. So click on pages, and so here, um, 
you'll see, okay, see, so the page isn't, isn't there just yet. So let's go ahead and, and see, for whatever reason, we cannot even add a page. I don't know why that blue button, the add button. Yeah. Your pages. Okay. So page after you can't add pages from a business account that's restricted from advertising. Okay. So see all details. Let's clear this up real quick. Okay, so what we're going to do after further review, we're going to use the Kimberlyn Collars account, which we're going to rename. We're going to rename, um, or or we can name it Kimberlyn Collars, whatever, but but um, go ahead and click on pages to the left. So right there, bottom left, click on pages. Perfect. Okay, cool. So so yeah, everything's going to be tied to, to this to this account. The Kimberlyn Collars Facebook page is here, and the Swift Water Painting page is here as well. So perfect. So click on add. And let's go ahead and um, add add a page. Yeah, add a page. And then just type in the Swift Water Painting one. And then there, hit the drop down, And then click on um, Add Page. OK, perfect. Close. And then what you're going to do also is People. So let's go ahead and add People. Um, and then you'll see uh, Rochelle's name. And they'll go, go ahead and click on Rochelle. And then to the very, very right, you're going you're gonna to click on manage all so to the very very right scroll down um below ads actually i guess you gotta you gotta shift all the all the grays so all the gear all the um little gears there yeah shade all of them to blue so the grays just shade all of them to blue and then and then assign okay perfect okay cool done okay awesome so now this is our first bookmark so let's bookmark this page let's make sure it's in that folder and we're going to call this one business settings you could take away the number three Take away the number three, um, change the folder, take it out of take it out of the Swift Auto painting and put it in, put it in the FB Business Manager one. Perfect. That's bookmark number one of seven. Perfect. So now we're going to click on um, add accounts. Add accounts to the left. Right, we're, and all we're going to do is work our way down on the left hand side. Okay. So add accounts. Um, so that's that's one add account right there, um, which we can use that one. Let's go ahead and just click the three dots in the top right. So right where the numbers are to the right, the blue numbers, yeah. we'll click on those three dots. Not three the dots. Numbers, oh, yeah, the three dots. Okay. And then we're going to just rename or edit, edit. So what we want to do here is we want to kind of go with one name, one name for everything. Um, so why don't we name this? Why don't we, why don't we name, we're going to go to, does she have a business name or does she have like a LLC or like anything like that? Um, only the, only the sweet water has the LLC, um, other is Kimberland colors. Okay. So why don't we just name everything? Um, let's name everything. Let's name, let's, let's name everything swift water. Cause we're working on swift water. So just go ahead and go with add account name, swift water, swift water painting. This one? Yeah. Swift water painting. And we're going to change the, the, the name in the top left. The Kimberlyn Collars, we're going to change that as well. And um, so Swift Order Painting, and go ahead and space the painting. Space painting, we'll just we'll just put it like it is, Swift Water Painting, perfect, and then save changes. So we're going to name everything Swift Order Painting, and it'll all make sense at the end. Um, so this is this is the ad account. So go ahead and go ahead and bookmark this page. Okay, so, and this is ad, yeah, ad accounts. Actually, rename it, yeah, rename it. So ad accounts. So in the future, in the future, I'm gonna always be available. Like I, I, I've been, I've been running ads for for many years now, and I, and I'm very, very knowledgeable on on this whole platform side. But, but, but every now and then, so I'm gonna be available for you whenever you need me. You can always, will always be able to jump on a call, and I'll be able to really kind of any any issue. I, 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 I I've seen them all. I can pretty much help with any issue. But every now and then, every now and then I get stuck on something. Every now and then something happens and I'm like, man, I don't know what just happened. You're going to have to reach out to Facebook. I don't know what, what went on. In the yeah. event that you have to reach out to Facebook, the, the first question they have is what's the ad account ID number? And that's okay. at the top, the 102042. Yeah. That's your ad account ID number. All and right. So, so, so knowing that number is, is pretty important. Um, this is the ad account. All the ad account is, is what's tied to, is, is, is what is what's being charged. So in her case, she has a PayPal account that she has tied to the ad account, right? So you can tie yeah. a credit card, but that's just where the ads are being charged. So that's mm -hmm. the ad account. That's the ad account. So perfect. So that's, that's bookmark number two. And then the Instagram account to the left, 
we'll just keep going down the left hand side instagram let's make sure that that's connected um and that's going to be connected yeah you can connect it to to actually yeah go ahead and click on it instagram accounts and then it's connected to the to the kimberling collars which which is fine and you can add if if swift water painting has its own instagram which i don't know if it does um not yet i tried to create um as mentioned earlier but it it it's not connected to facebook for some reason we'll look at that for sure so so this is the instagram so whenever ads are ran on instagram all we're doing is telling facebook which which instagram account to run it on right uh, but but this is not a bookmark I just wanted to double check it. And so we'll add, we'll, we can always add the Swift water painting later um, here on Instagram account. So now on the bottom, on the left, we'll just scroll down the left-hand side and we're going to come down to, um, let's go to, let's go to data sources. So go ahead and click on data sources and then click on pixels. So let's see which pixel she has over here. Okay. So she has, she has Kimberling collars. That's the top one. And then add people. So to the very, very right, add people. Or that one, yeah. Add people, and then always add Rochelle, and then um, full control, yeah, full control assign. And since you're logged into her account and and managing it through her account, I wouldn't even worry about adding your your email or your name or anything like that. You don't I need, know. Yeah, you I don't tried need. to actually do that um, before by adding myself, mm -hmm. but somehow I can't connect, so I gave up and just went ahead and used her account anyway yeah yeah just log into her account and just manage it this way that's how that's how i would do it um and then go ahead and and, and click on connected assets so the pixel needs to be connected to the right. to the right to the right okay. connected assets in the middle huh right there to the middle of the page connected assets okay so okay, perfect. So it's already connected. So this is connected to the to the to the ad account, which is a Swift Water Painting. We just renamed it Swift Water mm -hmm. Painting, right? So okay. that's the ad account. Perfect. And then the 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 second pixel, Kimberlyn Collars pixel. Click on that one. This one will be go to add people. Yeah, add people, and then add add Rochelle, and then full control. It's always full control. And if you don't see full control, then you have to just shade all of them to blue. But normally it's just full control, and and then that's the only one. And okay. then um. And then connected assets. So this one should also be tied to the ad account. Perfect. And then what we're going to do is we're going to rename this one. So go ahead and open an events manager. So click on the top right, open an events manager. Right to the very right. No, all the way to the, all the, way to, the to the right of the page. Um, open an events manager. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yes. So okay. click on that one. We're going to rename this pixel because um, Kimberlyn Collar's they only need one. So so they have yeah. one pixel and then now Swift Order Painting, this is going to be the pixel for Swift Order Painting. Okay. Okay. So now here, all we're going to do is we're going to simply um, hit the pencil right to the top, edit. So Kimberlyn Collars Pixel, edit. And we're going to just simply rename it. Take away the word pixel. We don't need even need the word pixel. We're going to name it Swift Order Painting. Everything is Swift Order Painting. Perfect. Save. And then... That's it. So now we'll go back three lines to the top left. Actually, you know what? From right here, from right here, we're gonna we're gonna bookmark this. This is Pixel. So so go ahead and bookmark this page. Name it Facebook Pixel or Pixel. Yeah, P I Z X E L Pixel. Um, it's in that folder. Done. That's it. Perfect. And so here's here's where the Pixel is. So right here, you have you're in the Swift Order painting, and then you have Kimberly and Collars at the top. Whenever you need your actual Pixel. Some websites, and I'm recording all this for you, so don't worry about really taking notes. You'll you'll have the playback. But some websites require just the pixel ID number, mm. right? So if you ever build a website in the future for somebody or 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 anything like that, and it, and it requires a Facebook pixel ID number, that's mm. the number in the top right, five three one four eight one. Yeah, that's the pixel ID. So you could just click it, and it, and it copies. Because mm -hmm. some websites require only that. Many other websites, the majority of websites, even, even the landing pages that I'm going to recommend to you guys later on, require the entire pixel code. And so to get the entire pixel code, you click on add events right there to the left, add events, the drop down um, to the left, actually to the right, a little bit to the right, add events, just kind of in the middle of the page, the drop down, yeah, to the, to the oh. left, yeah. 
add events, and then you're going to go from a new website, from a new website, and then I'll have you, and then install code manually. I'm going to have you, I'm going to have you email this to yourself as well. Install code manually and then copy code. So just click the green one and that's it. And then click, yeah, continue, continue, continue. Just keep going, continue all the way through. Actually, you know what? Back, go back, go back, go back. Hit the, hit the, yeah, hit that back. Yeah. Make sure all these are blue. So, so turn it off the, the, the top one. Actually, you could do it one by one. Yeah, that one. And then turn it back on. Perfect. Okay. And now continue. Okay, cool. And then continue, continue, and then go to pixel overview. Okay, cool. So now here's what I want you to do. You'll always be able to come back here because now it's bookmarked. Now you know how to click on add events and, and get the code or yeah, get the get the pixel code. So you can always come here for your Facebook pixel and you can always just email it to yourself. So just email it to yourself because you have it copied. So just just email it to yourself. Just paste it in an email and just and just name it name it Swift Water Painting Pixel. Just okay. email it to yourself. That's our bookmark. That's Pixel. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on, um, we're gonna hover over the blue triangle to the left, that blue triangle, and let's go to Custom Conversions. Custom Conversions to the very, very left, that blue triangle. Custom Conversions, and Custom Conversions is based on your your web page, your landing page, um, and so there there's one right there, an order confirmation. So I don't I don't know who set that one up, but that one that that that's good. That's good enough. So click on um. Click on the drop down in the top right, the Kimberlin collars. Click on that drop down um, in the top right. Yeah, right there. And then go to okay, cool. So we're in we're we can no, we can we can stay in the Kimberlin collars one and then just bookmark it from here. So bookmark it from here, and this is custom conversions. And custom conversions again is is based on on the web page. Um and it's 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 for for when we're running ads for leads. Like click on this one, order confirmation. That's going to be a website. So you'll see there which website that is. That is going to be um, the KimberlinCollars.com forward slash checkout forward slash order confirmed. Right. So the, the the custom conversion is based on is based on the confirmation page of 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 whatever product you're you're offering or any lead that you're generating. It's it's based on the, the confirmation page. So we'll we'll get to this part when we get there, but this is this is a very important page to to bookmark. So okay. so yeah, so so go ahead and bookmark this page. This is custom conversions, custom conversions, and and yeah, we'll we'll keep it in that folder right there. Oh, I did already. Did you already did you already bookmark it? Yeah. Okay, so then, yeah, so hit remove. Just hit the star again. Yeah, there's custom conversion. Okay, cool. So yeah, hit the star and just remove the one that you. Yeah, just click the star and then you'll be able to remove. Yeah, just hit remove, remove. Okay, perfect. We're good. Okay, good. So now three lines to the left, and now let's go to um, let's go to custom audiences. So you'll see audiences. So click on that, and there is. You'll scroll down, and you'll see audiences. Yeah, so let's click on audiences, and this is what I truly believe 99% of online marketing is all about. It's all about creating your custom audiences, putting people in certain audiences that are doing certain things. So if you saw my ad and you clicked on it, you're in this audience. If you saw my ad and you watched 30 seconds of my video, you're in this audience. If you clicked on a product and you added it to the cart, you're in this audience. Right. Mm -hmm. So, so this is what it's all about is these audiences. Um, so hit the star on the top, right. And let's bookmark this page. Okay. Custom audiences. Perfect. So as we move forward, we're going to really be putting a lot of audiences in, in here. Um, so now three lines to the left and let's go to, let's go to billing. The billing page and and being able to access that right away is is super important. So billing and then knowing knowing what your what your balance is throughout the month is 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 pretty important. So you'll see billing. I think it's at the top. Are you aware? What's that? Ah, uh, billing. Okay. Yes, billing. Okay, perfect. So now 
we'll click on billing and then in the top right we'll click on payment settings so you should see payment settings in the top right yeah there's payment settings go ahead and click on that one and then we're going to bookmark it from over here yes yeah, so once this loads Okay, perfect. And then go ahead and bookmark it from here. Okay, and this is billing. Perfect. So so no balance. She has a $75 threshold. That's the PayPal account. That's that's billed. Um done. Okay, perfect. And then now let's go back to let's go back to business settings really quick. So three three lines to the top left. And let's go to um business settings. And then what, what I want to do also is scroll down to the left. Um, we're going to go down to what we want to do also is is integrate the domain eventually. Um, do you have access to her GoDaddy account? Um, for Swift Flutter, no. Okay. Later on, yeah, later on, get email her later on and just, just get access to that. Maybe her username and login for GoDaddy or wherever she purchased it. Mm. And we'll do that on our next call, but, but with that click on brand safety, because now what Facebook requires is they require that you own the domain. Yeah. And she to, bought the GoDaddy, um, sweet floor thinking that home, she said, okay. Um, earlier. Okay, perfect. So go ahead and clap on type in domain. Yeah. Click on domains. And then this one is verified and go ahead and add, add the next one. So go ahead and add Swift Water Painting, or what? Or do you know exactly what it is? She said SwiftWaterPainting.com. Perfect. Okay, so because that's the email that she was able to create as well. Oh, perfect, perfect. So go ahead and add that, and then now all we'll need later on, and we can do it on our on our next call, is we'll need to log in to GoDaddy, and 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 configure it. Okay. okay. And um. And I can help you with this part, or I can I or I can tell you how to do it right now. But but what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on the drop down. So that drop down, add a meta tag to your HTML. Click on that one, and you're coming down to the third one. You're coming down to the DNS text. So that's what you're adding. So in, the instructions are right there. But but really, all you're doing is you're gonna take instruction number two, and you're gonna mm -hmm. you're gonna copy that bold Facebook dash domain dash verification. Yeah, all you're gonna do is just click it. You could just click it. And it copies it. Okay. And then, and then all you would do is you would go into into GoDaddy and 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 create a DNS text record. Um, but I'll help you. I'll help you do that part. Um, if if anything, but we'll need to log into her GoDaddy. So yeah, she's on a call. <laughs> yeah, no worries. We'll do that later. So so that at least it's there and and it's not verified yet, but we'll get it verified eventually. So now last thing to the left, let's go to bottom left and let's click on um, business info. Let's make sure all of this is, is set up and accurate. Okay, so so there's legal business name. Let's 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 go ahead and edit that part. So this here, go ahead and put in and let's do let's do Swift Art Painting LLC. Let's put in let's put in that. Um And the business website, you can you can leave that website or you can put you could put Swift Art or Painting, but but that's fine. And then no tax ID is needed. And then you could just save it. Yeah, perfect. So let's save. And then also the let's edit the top, the um primary page. We need to put a primary page in here. So click on edit and then go ahead and um let's go ahead and do the Swift Art or Painting one. So type in Swift Art or Painting and then you should you should see the drop down. There it is, perfect. So click on that drop down, and then go ahead and save, and then now refresh the page. Can't request to add a page to a business manager account. As a security question, you aren't allowed. What was that all about? So we'll just make the Kimberlyn Collars the primary page, which is totally fine. Um, and then as we run ads, we can always run it from the other from the other page. So we're good. We're good. Perfect. So we're good. Now scroll all the way down. And let's just make sure that this email is verified, which it should be. Um, go ahead and scroll down, keep going, keep going, keep going. 
Yeah, that email. So that's the email on file. So always remember, and that's the most important when it comes to all these social media accounts, when it comes to um, the Facebook business manager, the most important thing is knowing which email is on file. Um, I think she wants to change it to customer service. Perfect. So go ahead and, go ahead and edit, change that. And do you have access to that? Yeah, you do have access to that email, right? Um, I actually tried, but um, it doesn't allow me. So we need to have another time again, okay. uh, Rochelle and I, so I can access it. Because okay. there are so many security protocols I have to go through, <laughs> mm -hmm. being on the other side of the world, I think. Yeah, yeah. So... That's fine. We can always update. So, um, I won't change it yet until both of us are online and then I can access it because I tried okay. several times and mm -hmm. doesn't allow me. Okay, good. Okay, so we can always always change that, uh, always update it, but just that's the one on file for now. So fetch at Kimberlyn Collars. And then, um, so now I think we're good. Click on our folder. What do we got on our folder? We should have seven bookmarks. So let's go to our folder and what do we got in there? We have... We have business settings. Actually, we have one more. Click on the three lines to the left and then go to ads manager. That's, yeah, ads manager is the last one. So three lines at the top. It's all about the three lines. That's where you navigate through everything. But but the bookmarks, the reason why I have the bookmarks is so you don't really have to click on the three lines anymore. You could just click the bookmark and that's all you need. But for here, yeah, ads manager. Ads manager. And this will be our, our last bookmark. Um, so... And then now you'll see you still, yeah, let me, sh let me show it to you. So you'll, now you'll have a drop down in the top left. So the drop, the drop down in the top left, it says, let's see what this one says. This account is, um, let me see, let me see. This is the account that we're in, Swift, Swift Order Paint. So go ahead and click on that drop down. So the other accounts are right here. So click on it and then go see more ad accounts. So all of the other accounts are really, really it's just the bottom one. That's the personal one at the bottom. So you'll never run ads, but go ahead and click on it. You can click on it and you can see any, any past, any previous ads that were ever boosted or ran through her name. They'll always be here, but we're, we're just not going to run ads through that account anymore. Okay. <clears throat> but let's see, let's see where it takes us. So this is the bottom account, Rachel Boyer, you see there in the top left. So we won't run ads out of here anymore. And, and again, the only reason why is because this is the ads manager. This is the basic ads manager. This is where boost our, our posts are boosted. And so again, you just don't have everything we just set up, which was the custom audience, the custom conversion, the pixel, integrating mm -hmm. the domain. You can't do any of that through this bottom account. That's just your standard default account that everyone gets this bottom account. So we want to, we want to just, again, we, what we did, did today is we took it a step further and we set up the business account. So that way we have access to all the settings. And so now if you look at, so now let's hit the drop down, Rachel Boyer, let's go back to the, to the, to the Swift Order painting, see more ad accounts, Swift Order painting. So now from this point on, yes, all ads are ran from here. Even, even, well, Kimberly and Callers, we can set up another ad account. In fact, let's, let's do that. Let's set up another ad account for Kimberly and Callers. But um, that way, that way, these ads can be separate. Yeah, let's let's do that here, and it'll take that'll take us one one second. Um, but actually, you know what? We may not be able to because you're cutting out. Are you still there? Can you hear me okay now? All I was saying is that Swift are painting any ad, any Facebook ad, any Instagram ad is going to be ran through this ad account, which that's what you see in the top left. So if our painting 10204213, that's this ad account, right? Um, so go to bookmark it here. Bookmark this one. And we're actually going to have eight bookmarks because the next bookmark is going to be an ad account for Kimberlyn Collars. So name this one. Name this one Swift Art Painting. Swift Art Painting um, Ads Manager. Yeah, Swift Art Painting. Actually, put Ads Manager first. Put Ads Manager first. So Ads Manager, Swift Art Painting. Yeah, Ads Manager, Swift Art Painting. And then and then let's do let's do one more as well. Ads Manager, Swift Art Painting. Perfect, done. And then now click on the three lines to the left and let's go back to um, Business Settings. We 
which again, it's always the three lines, but then now you have the bookmarks. So you really don't even need the three lines anymore. You have the bookmarks. That's the whole purpose of today is to just bookmark the most important tabs. That's it. And these are the only seven you'll ever, actually, in this case, it's going to be eight. And this will be the eighth one, add accounts, click on add accounts because we have two different businesses. So what I want is I want any ad that's ran through, any ad that's ran for Swift Daughter is gonna be ran through that ad account, right? Through that ad account. Any any ad ran through Kimberlyn will be ran through a different ad account. All right. That we, we can separate them. So, so go ahead and right here, let's go ahead and create a new ad account. We won't be able to fully, fully create it just yet because um, she would have to put in her credit card information or, uh or or her PayPal, if you have, I don't know if you have access to that, but. I that's... have a credit card, but she used the PayPal, which, no, I don't have access to the PayPal, but I have the credit card one. Perfect. You can just add that for the time being. No ads are going to be ran through here anytime soon. So no charges will be made at all, but just for the setup. Yeah. We'll put the card for the setup and then she'll, she can always come in and switch it out for sure. So Kimberly Collars, yeah, that's the name of this one. Perfect. And then there's the, the time zone. That's fine. That's fine. And then next. Awesome. Okay, cool. So now it'll take us through just the, um, for my business. Yeah, perfect. That one. And then create. Awesome. And then the Rachel Boyer to the left. And then just full control to the bottom right. Full control. Perfect. Assign. Okay, good. And then add payment info. This then. Really cool. So now, now you have two different ad accounts. So if you refresh the page, refresh this page, and um and now, and you know what? The Swift are painting. We named we named the folder. Um actually we put it in the Swift Daughter folder painting. Click on the drop down in the top left. So you have Kimberly Collars, and then you have no, the drop down. Yeah, right there. So you have you have the Rachel Boyer one. And so now everything is running out of Kimberly Collars. So the Swift are painting that folder. We have we have it in that folder, right? We have the FB business manager. Yeah. So if anything, maybe put in the Kimberly Collars. Call it, yeah, maybe, maybe drag it. Is that a different folder to the right? Kimberly Collars. Is that this one? Yeah. Is that maybe, maybe because we're naming everything Kimberly Collars. Right here, actually, it's it's the it's the business account. So I mean, actually, no, it doesn't even matter. Leave it in the Swift Art Painting folder. That's fine. That's totally fine. I don't want to confuse you. That's totally fine. So now we have two ad accounts. We have Kimberly Collar's ad account. We have a Swift Art Painting ad account. So now if you click on the three lines or just go to your bookmarks, but we're going to go to Ads Manager, Ads Manager. So now, now you'll you'll have another ad account. So as we run ads for um for for any one of them. But it's really this one that's the new one, which which we named um, we named this one Kimberly Collars. So yeah, for the future, I guess every yeah we'll just do the Kimberly Collars on this one. This one is where every Kimberly Collar ad would be ran in the future from this account. Okay. And then, and then Swift Order will be will be the other one. So now go ahead and bookmark this page. Go ahead and bookmark this one. Um, bookmark this one, and this is Ads Manager um, Kimberly Collars. Ads Manager Kimberly callers perfect and now we should have eight bookmarks and that's it Edel. those are the top eight those are the top eight that i truly believe anyone needs when it comes to running successful facebook ads and instagram ads those 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 seven so let's look at the photo real quick go to swift order painting um so we should have we should have seven but there's really eight business settings ad accounts pixel custom conversions custom audiences billing and ads manager those All are right. those are your seven Okay. So that's it. So that's what I call the Facebook business manager setup. We had to do all of that before we ever run an ad. So um, that was just basic, the, the basic foundation. And then, um, and then just either email me or go to my calendar, actually my calendar, and then schedule our next call and we'll go from there. But any questions on any of this whatsoever? Um, you can see this, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, these are the login details, but I mean, do I just tap actually um, i don't i don't see what you're seeing i'm just seeing the business manager oh sorry right. yeah no no worries 